One of my icons, one of the most unique people to maybe have ever existed on the planet. I like Leonard a lot, but it's funny, I didn't get into him until I was a bit older, but, you know, a Canadian, you know, very, very legendary. Uh, I love his song, Chelsea Hotel. Yeah, great guy, great legend, good singer. Sad, he passed recently, right? Oh man, Dolly. I mean, the funny thing about Dolly Parton is like, what can you say about Dolly that hasn't been said? Because I feel like Dolly is very, very, she gets all the respect that she deserves, which I'm so happy about. But it never used to be that way originally, you know? I think she was a real trailblazer when she left Porter Wagner and she kind of set out to do her solo career. Um, I think she is an incredible, incredible person who manages to combine cheerfulness with heartbreak in the most country way possible. <laughs> that is Orville the Duck, if I'm not mistaken. A uh, great uh, uh, British legendary character who shares an incredibly, incredibly good name, Orville. <laughs> one of my icons, one of the most unique people to maybe have ever existed on the planet. Uh, obviously, I'm a big John Waters fan, and uh, Divine was his muse, and you know, big, 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 big fan. Another kind of incredible person. I think to be a gay black country star, and yes, I do believe that he is a country star, uh, who basically got the number one song in the world from being a barb on Reddit. I mean, that's kind of the perfect story for 2019, isn't it? The city of London. Well, I lived in London for almost five years, so it's one of my many homes. Uh, I always feel really happy to be back here. I've lived in all different parts of it. Uh, mostly in East London, London Fields in particular. I mean, I still enjoy a fry up. Probably not the healthiest thing to put in your body first thing in the morning, but I'll do it anyway. My dear friend Trixie Mattel, who uh, is genuinely not only, you know, obviously a very incredible artist and musician and drag queen, but also really just one of the nicest people and one of my favorite kind of uh, senses of humor ever. I really love Trixie. Oh, the OG queen. Uh, you know, I wouldn't really say I'm much of a royalist, but I'll tell you, you know, she, uh, she put a lot into her looks, which I'm kind of thrilled about. Incredible. You know, the cramps kind of are, have a country vibe in a way, I think, because they combined such a cool theatricality and a legend and kind of, you know, that perfect era of punk that was so kind of performative with, you know, they had like stage names and the whole, the whole bit. And I think that there's a lot of parallels between country music and that era of punk especially. I'm not originally from Canada, so, and I'm also, I don't eat dairy, so for me, poutine, sorry, I don't get it. But people go crazy for it.